Rangers. Power Rangers is go. Da, 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 da. Oh wait, that's another franchise. Speaking of, speaking of Power Rangers and Thunderbird, apparently Americans did. You know how you know how Power Rangers was originally they used Japanese stock footage from Super Sentai and added original American footage, right? Uh huh. Yeah, Apparently, I, I and I saw anything. a few episodes, Americans did the same with Thunderbirds. <laughs> Top gag. Stock footage from the Thunderbirds and added their own original live action footage. <laughs> anyway, before we go into any of that, well, we, we've been back from the big hiatus of two whopping weeks as most of us went to, to visit the Germanys and the Austrias and the Illies in a th little thing, a little thing called ArcTrixCon. And it was very fun. We did a lot of sightseeing. There, there was we also, died. we all died, but we also, we, we had a pocket mercy to see rest all of us. And okay, just in yeah. time too, because he got nerfed. So she can't do it as quickly <laughs> as he used to, but you know. We, we like, why the hell does mercy even exist at this point? Exactly, I know, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure Symmetra can, even Symmetra can out heal her now. I changed it to Mercy and they are great because they basically make her the same champion as one that's in Paladin. Who's copying who now? GG. So yeah, welcome to Ray Rothingham, the world's least professional podcast. This is I, the Artrix, introducing myself. You know, the first one to introduce myself, the best person in the entire Gotham universe. What? Wasn't the most humble person on the entire internet. We also got the uh, Severs, I guess. Okay, you are so humble that they should make bundles out of it. So uh, bundles of sticks. Well, yeah, they they sell them, and then I'm like, it doesn't look anything like me, and then then I just destroy them because I'm creative in the entire universe. Uh, we also got Herr Bakfoon. Golden Tag. Good and tag, we got Astra the Astra. Hey. Hi. And we got Sekla. Hello, I'm finally here again. You're finally here after having after having almost two weeks to fix your microphone. He did it! Now his microphone doesn't not work anymore. So yeah, this episode I'm drawing Daisy because I kind of figured, wait a minute, I've never drawn Daisy on Ray Rothingham. So I might as well do it right now. It's also because I might be out of ideas, sort of, maybe not really. But, you know, why the fuck not? So here's a, here's a daisy. And she's all, actually, I'm almost done drawing her. So, yeah, whatever. So, uh, since Astra doesn't have a topic, we might as well make one. So here's the uh, Zavirus, do your thing. What? And now it's Astro time with the Astra. Why? Be because you're the guy that always does it. But you just said she doesn't have a topic. She does. I just made it up for her. Don't worry. Yeah. We'll get through. We'll all get through this. It's the Astra time with topicless Astra. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, Astra's topic is obviously gonna be Artrixcon 2017, because yeah. Because that's that's a serious, serious topic. So, Estra, can you summarize what we've done during the past samurai. two weeks? Samurai. Fully samurai. Fully samurai. Right. camping. Yes. I bet you 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 didn't have any discomfort whatsoever. No. Actually, yes. It was wet. It was cold. It was raining the whole time. I got bitten to the point where I spawned Sounds big like bug England. bite. Moist. And and I fell in the lake. I drowned. I'm dead. This, this is not really me. It's just like ghost me. Ghost. I'm ghost. Ghostra. I'm going ghost. <laughs> 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 you heard it on Ray Rothing first. Astra went ghost. And then but Hartman Senpai will not notice you. And then she shot up the entire Europe. 
yeah, that was about it. Well, most of that is factual, except for the bit where he said it was constantly wet and raining because What's it wasn't. Like no, actually, it was the opposite of that. It was yes. blistering hot, around mm -hmm. happy. Like, what is this? This is not Britain. Uh, yeah, I'm acclimatized to this. I kept saying yep. the people that bleh, 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 kept telling people that uh, I'm not acclimatized. I, I'm all his more, life. more uh, water person. I'm a water bender. Sure. Everything changed. Uh, in the fire Everything changed when the Germans existed, and 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 we went there and was like, hmm. Oi, mate, your country's kind of hot right about now. And then like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. It'll, it'll start raining in about two weeks. And apparently it caught like the, 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 the first three days of all the rain, you know, went there. It was blistering hot. It was like summer all around. It was grand. And then the last three days was just nothing but rainy misery. Like, mm. like the the moment we left, the, the, it it fortunately did let up a little bit, so we could actually store our tents just a little bit. <laughs> you know, they weren't completely soaking wet, but still, it it was kind of the timing was kind of poor. Yeah. But then again, I looked at the weather report, and apparently, it's still raining over there, as it is over here, as it is everywhere. It's raining everywhere. It's raining so much that it's even raining in the United States. I, I heard that, you know, a few little sprinkles here and there. Oh, in the yeah. United States and, right there. And a certain... A lot of people drown. And a certain certain asshole magazine in France said it was a good thing because they didn't vote for the person they wanted. Wait a minute. Wait so a minute. so that, that's honestly what's happening now? Yeah. Basically, you know, there, there, are, there was, I think, either it's floods or a hurricane. That I'm, I'm not fresh on the news. But yeah, there is a natural disaster in Texas. Mm. And, yeah. and freaking French news magazines are essentially celebrating like, yeah, they deserved it. Now all the, the Trump voting Nazis are dead. But there aren't just even Trump. a cover, not even a cover of a magazine. But the... voting votes. Are you implying that fifty percent of America's population is in dire sadness? That, and I'm pretty sure that there's a fair number of, I guess, Hillary voters there. Or no, that's not true. It was uh, they, they're all you know. It was either. All, everyone in Texas, everyone, all the people there, they all voted either Trump or that, that one libertarian guy. Gary Johnson? Yes. All of them. No, no, not a single, and, and not a single person voted Hillary. No one. And also, since we are talking Hillary, did you hear that Hillary, or rather Hillary supporters, launched their own news site with news site which by the way is openly endorsed by hillary clinton the, herself well, they claim not endorsed by the, the saudi right? <laughs> they claim that they have objective news is it well, fake, not fake news well the first news article on the site says that bernie sanders was a plan by russia <laughs> in Sabotage yeah. Hillary Clinton's campaign. Those fucking socialists. Wait. <laughs> and this site is openly endorsed by Hillary Clinton. Well, from what I gather, the site is. It, it obviously does have leftist slant. Uh, but the way it's set up is that people can submit quotes and the quotes are verified. Or at least that's that's you know the general gist of it. So, a politician has says a thing, and then people can look up on the side what they said in the past and then the context of what they said and it's verified and uh, and so what approved that less than 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 forty eight hours after the site launched, some some people were managed to to sneak in some 
some you know nonsense so yeah people are already tr trolling the site uh it's it is they're, they're just providing alternative of course they are providing kex that's that's the whole point of doing oh, a thing like that kex. you can provide alternative kex kex are just kex can, can you do that can you post can you go to the internet and post kex why would you do such a thing <laughs> But 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 yeah, that, that that's basically all I got on this this side for the time being. Very obviously as a leftist land, um, but other than that, well, it's probably something that's gonna be forgotten in 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 a short amount of time. Just just like all these other initiatives, like what was it? Some site that was supposed to be like the uh, um, some sort of review site for people. So if you're a terrible person, you can end up on this website and people can rate you and this, there's, there's no way this can go wrong. Yeah, considering that you never heard about the site, it's probably, you know, already dead in the water. Or, or this, um, this other site, what was it again? This uh, quote unquote anonymous uh, discussion app that was also highly censored. I forgot the name of name of it, but there was like this quote unquote scandal where uh, these popular YouTubers would endorse it, even though they shouldn't. Like Shu on head, he was like, "Yeah, use this. It's it's fucking great. You can shit talk anonymously, and it's all fun and giggles." Candid. Yeah, candid. It's, it's it's so fun. Also, they are collecting all your data yes well that that's basically any app these days but it almost doesn't matter if you, what if you have the floating brain they have a sinister <laughs> it was kind of confirmed by the ceo but i'm just saying what i have well if the, the thing is if if uh if a app or service lets you use it for free then you are basically the, the you are the the product so that makes sense, I guess. Anyway, how did we end up talking about floating brains and candid and... Because we talked about rain. Yes. yes. So, so yeah, uh, there was a little bit of rain in America, just a little bit. And then some people were kind of upset about it. They were like, hey, why is there, you know, two meters of water in my living room now? It's because it rained. Hmm? They're like, oh, and something new. Sitting well, in you know that like i said it's probably like those astronauts there you know they, they went to the moon and they were just too much of pus pussy to be like oh you know what Let, let's try taking me off for help so maybe it's completely harmless <laughs> you don't know if you tried yeah. and well, what what can happen and, and, you know worst case scenario there's the story of the first 10 apollos hmm they all went there, took off their helmets, and then discovered, oh, it's actually not a very good idea to take off your helmet. But they, they, they needed to do it a few more times to get a complete statistic. Yeah, you know, and they discovered oh, it, we just need to you, we just need to get adjusted to to this sudden change in air pressure. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? You know, you don't don't go in expecting you can just take off your helmet and be completely fine. You know, it, it takes it takes a few years to adjust. Just just a few. You, you need to take your helmet off in short bursts. Hmm. Yeah. Don't don't go in. You know, don't go down deep end immediately. You know. Use some common sense or whatever. Uh. All right. So what what else what else is there to say about Murica land and hurricanes? Well, I heard Chicago is is a Trump free zone now. W what Which city? That Chicago, the the G of Kegos near the lake. It's a Trump free zone. So they don't have any Trumps, I guess. <laughs> so you. Ah! Well, the, the mayor was like, I'm not listening to the president. But he has to. That's like the fucking law. 
But he's not. Well, that, that, well, okay, here's the thing. He can try. I mean, not nothing prevents him from, from doing that. But, uh, you know, if, if the fucking US Army is at your do doorstep, um, then, yeah, you, you, you and what army? Also, did Trump give him any orders? Well, probably not. Probably just... Yeah, that, that's what I thought. That it's... Super easy to claim to not listen to someone's order if they never gave you orders in the first place. I mean, how, how many times does the, the president directly order something too small? This is, what, what town is this? Is like a small town or? For an entire fucking city. Oh, Chicago is kind of small. Oh, it's, uh, Chicago. That, that, yeah, that's a small town. Like, there's like, what, two people in it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm thing, exaggerating. The thing in question is related to, to immigration stuff and it's also a bit confusing and I don't really care. But Obama did something and, and now Trump is not doing it and the mayor of Chicago is like, I'm gonna be doing it even though the president, therefore the entire country is not supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. and, so, and, and then he called all, all the people who immigrated dreamers because Oh yeah, that, that reminds me. I've I've seen this phrase float around the internet quite a bit. So what the fuck does DACA mean? DACA? Uh, yeah, it's that's, okay. That's, that's, the, that's the thing that the, that the Chicago person is, is for. And Trump apparently can't do. So, so what does DACA mean? I don't know. It's some program for people. <laughs> so it's not some let's, stupid... Let's see. Deferred action for childhood arrivals program. Young people brought to the US illegally as children were protected from deportation. And now Trump is like, you bald fuck off. Mm -hmm. No, that, that so gets. Ba so basically, Trump is enforcing the actual law. That, that's yeah. usually the case with this sort of thing. You know, you, you, you make some laws. And what seems to be the case in the past 20 odd years is like, yeah, let's not enforce it because it's not convenient. And then, you know, one person comes along, he's like, oh, uh, let's actually do enforce the law. And it's like, oh. I think the issue is mostly like if you have people that kind of, you know, their parents came in illegally, but the kids are born in America and they basically only know America and then suddenly they get, you know, get told go away and they can't even speak uh, like the kids can't even really speak their native language of the mm -hmm. where they came from it's i think that those are the dreamers what they yep. were called basically it's supposed to kind of protect those kids from such situations that and that's the, that's the whole problem of the situation like where the fuck do we draw the line because the, the slippery slope here is okay so we're going to basically give all these kids amnesty. It's like, yeah, but the kids, we, we need to, to keep the parents here as well. Okay, amnesty to the parents. What about the grandparents? Okay, let's give amnesty to the grandparents. So yeah. No, that's not... I don't think that uh, that's how it works. I'm pretty sure it just basically it's just parents plus kid because of kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, there you go. Parents too. So well, of course, because uh, who is gonna take care of for let's say a ten-year-old kid or twelve-year-old kid? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this this whole situation is pretty fucked up because now you got entire generations of people that were basically let in illegally, and now the whole country is like, what the fuck are we gonna do with these people? Oh no, those people that actually speak English. And you know, kind of are trying to integrate. Oh no, we should get them. Yes, are but they question: Are they paying taxes? That's an important one. Yeah. That that's kind that's that's kind of the crux of illegal uh, immigrants. Could have entered illegally, illegally, whatever, however you want to read it. Unless there's some shit around it, they probably had an opportunity to like you know integrate. So. I guess it comes down to if they are integrated or not. 
not not just you know doing an AOE on them and and kick them out of the country. <laughs> like Trump, Trump just tested an AOE. Uh, he he should have hired some warlocks and like asked them to do this spell from the future. Yeah, but from what I see, the uh, DACA uh, the DACA program is basically allowing like the kid plus parents to stay in the country and also to get a legal way to you know get an actual job so basically they do pay taxes yeah. well yeah that implies program. that that applies fucking naturalization which i don't think a lot of people object to if someone you know becomes a natural citizen of country then you're no longer dealing with this wishy-washy situation of oh yeah, yeah but the you... thing is like that those people entered you know 10 or 15 years ago and were entered that country illegally but you know they can't integrate it and now basically what trump is doing is like telling those people like get out this yes what people are getting upset that those people that can integrate it already pay the taxes and work they're getting told to get out even for you know they are more american than yeah, yeah but people that pay fun. taxes are legal <laughs> citizens yeah but they pay taxes too it would be more sensible to kick their parents than them, honestly. You see, and this is why you don't have massive, massive influxes of illegal immigrants. Because then you have problems. Yeah, you. but the thing is basically that uh, what I read that even many Republicans want to keep that program. Of course, uh, because cheap labor. I mean, you have to remember, they're fucking Republicans. They they love themselves some cheap labor. Yes, that too. Also, you know, from uh, if, you, uh, if you bring people in as children and they actually uh, are taught how to be American, you, you get much less problems than when you get adults and they just continue their, I don't know, Paraguayan style of life. I don't know. I don't know what kind of people could come to you and say, why would you do that? Now, obviously, it's, it's large numbers of Scandinavians. All of them. Well, I mean, that would make sense. They are being uh, what's the word? They are being oppressed, no, displaced. They are, being, they are being yes, displaced. They are being displaced by all those immigrants in Scandinavia. Hmm. I'm I'm sensing a pattern here. So we have all these people moving in from the south. Mm -hmm. So. You know, one people from the south displaces people to the north, so the north travels all across the planet to displace the people, you know, on, on their northern sites, which would be the south. So you have all these Canadians moving into Canada. They have all these Canadas, you know, that they're dealing with Trudeau, so they're already kind of fucked. So, like, <laughs> hmm, we might as well try and move down to the United States, but then the United States is like, hmm, we got all these people. Wait, no, it doesn't work anymore. Because <laughs> then the United States got all in the middle of it. Like, oh, I mean, according to, to some calculations, you can move the world population into Texas. So, oh, yeah. Well, there we go. Well, we mean, should. The, the, the Texas is flooded like entirely. 100% of Texas is flooded. Yeah, right ev now. Ev so. like, like exactly the shape of Texas. So, you walk exactly. down to the border and it's like a perfectly straight line of flood so we, we, ju we just lost the solution to overpopulation just just have everyone move into texas and then wait for it to flood i don't know we, we can't move the people to texas now because we have no texas I and mean, it, it was specifically texas not the area of the size of texas obviously mm -hmm. it so that then we just need to to go to some some empty space in 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 i, I don't know africa and then carve out a bit of land exactly the size of size of it uh, the size and shape of texas then we'll all be grand and everything will work out just fine i agree then we don't even need the dacas and the magas and all the other slogans we just need one texas shaped piece of land and just move all there oh but as a matter of fact if, no, look, look i i got it i got it and and let's go one step further so so we take a piece of land the size of texas in the shape of texas we carve it out of africa and we just put giant thrusters on it and then we have a giant ship and we can travel all across the world 
so no one needs to migrate ever again we'll just be traveling across the globe on this texas shaped ship and it'll be grand and if somebody if somebody pisses us off we can perform a colony drop on them yes also now if you want to see the grand canyon everyone can see it now you know we we don't have to go there like bit by bit just just entirely through earth's population we can all go see the grand canyon it'll be great there's nothing wrong with this plan no it's it's going to be grand yes hmm anyway so we went from fucking floods to taxes, to taxes. um Maybe maybe some animation with a news or whatever. Like, going from floods to Texas isn't very far. That that currently it isn't. No, those two are oddly related right now. I actually never really expected, you know, to find Texas and floods in one sentence, but yeah, fuck it. It's current year. It's happening in real time. Also apparently Florida is up next. They're they're like oh, Oh, I thought California is next. No, it's 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 very specifically Flor Florida. Well, then again, Florida is the crazy state, so I suppose they're used to a thing or two. But but still, there's a big fucking hurricane coming there. Also, speaking of of, of DACA and t Mexicans and whatnot, apparently Mexico Mexico just experienced their biggest earthquake ever. Just, 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 this just in on Ray Rothingham, even though it's been, you know, on the news for the past two hours or so. But yeah, big, big fucking earthquake in the Mexicos. Actually, Yay. that's it. Actually, that's it. It's just a big. Is that all that happened? Well, there, there's not much to report on aside from, yeah. Big, big fucking earthquake in Mexico. The ground show and, and mm -hmm. catapulted more Mexicans behind the USA border. Well, at least we don't have any Fukushima's or whatever it was. So, at least well, we. No, that, that, that would imply Mexico has a stable infrastructure. Exactly. So, at least they don't have to worry about that sort of thing, I guess. But uh, they might have some pop tequila. You know, someone left it on the shelf, fell off, and now it's all over the floor. God fucking damn it. You just, you just had to put it out. Or whatever they say in Mexico. I, I don't know how you say it in Mexican. Uh, obviously that they call you in Texas. Oh yeah. You know, the, with, with this whole DACA thing, you know, they're, they're importing Texas vernacular into to Mexico, so they all sound like Texans now. <laughs> Indeed. So, in other words, you know, they all go home and they say, "Propane." I sell propane and propane-related accessories. All of them, every single one of them, no exceptions. Yes. I agree. Related to, to the rain, there's a what was it? <clears throat> a billionaire, I think. He decided to barricade himself in his wine cellar. He decided to do what? Decided to barricade himself in his wine cellar. Oh, because of the rain, of course. Yes. Because of. He, he and I that there won't be much wine left so that does not sound like a good idea I, I think he wants to drink wine so so what you're saying is that there's a big big, big fucking flood going on everyone's fucking dying and and what the millionaire decided to do is to go out there into his, his wine cellar to, to drink a metric shit ton of wine because why the fuck not? Or maybe he was afraid it was gonna, you know, 
be submerged in water so he at least wants to drink his expensive wine collection well, before the water would be able to well if it's sensible because he's on an island mm -hmm. that he, walks, he can do that so they, they tend to do that it's kind of a you know niche hobby but you know you're a millionaire fuck it so so did he die it from alcohol poisoning Oh. I, I did not look into it. What I did look into it is a kind of older news, but it's it's funny that there was a what was it Danish reporter, and and she went to visit a amateur submarine builder. Yes, mm -hmm. that there's, there's a amateurish submarine builder, and he built submarines. And while she was doing a a, a report on on the submarine, a trapdoor fell on her and killed her. And then the submarine builder was like, oh shit. And then he threw her body overboard because that's the sensible thing to do. Mm -hmm. Because. A few weeks, well, not a week, maybe they, sometime later they found her without arms or legs. She killed fish. And yeah, he got into trouble. But you know what he did in the meantime? He actually sank the fucking submarine. Nothing says I'm innocent, like like removing all the evidence you have. Mm -hmm. oh. but that's what you do, right? Yeah. Just uh, you know, delete evidence. It'll be fine. But 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 yeah. What what the fuck has a hobby like that? You're like, hmm. You know that guy collects stamps, and this guy, you know, he, he likes to play vidya. You know what I'm gonna do? I am going to uh, just build a fucking submarine. For lols. I mean, as I mean, as a kid, I had this fucking idiotic idea of trying to build to dig a tunnel, which barely fucking worked because it was in a public park and it was it was only one kid and one shovel. I, I think you could never, Alex, you could, you could never escape from prison. Mm -hmm. The prison that is my life. <laughs> that. Uh, to dig a tunnel made of I, I mean, how do you even go about doing that? How do you build your own fucking submarine? Uh, over a few years. With just, just, care just, and, and so, and power. just, just, you know, go and build, buy like um, a milk tank or something like that. And just modify it, just, just, and just long, just long enough until it eventually becomes a submarine yeah. maybe by a shipping container no i would say a milk container would probably be better for that i don't know just weld some boat engines on it and make it waterproof and mm -hmm. especially the last part of waterproof the waterproofing is like just just it's, little it's detail kind of when you're underwater yes just a little bit though underwater proof it it, it you, you, de you, you definitely <laughs> you you definitely have to make it underwater proof you gotta keep those underwaters out you know i don't know about the water but the underwater that shit's dangerous you really need to get keep that out when you're submerged in underwater yeah underwater is the water that's underwater yeah. exactly you know, when you got a body of water, that the water is is on top, just and the underwater is on the water. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, no shit about underwater. I mean, I mean, here we are building dikes and whatnot. It only protects you from water. It doesn't protect you from other wa underwater. Once that the dike breaks, you know, all the water will pour in. Then you have to deal with the underwater, which which is the water that kills you. This is a very well guarded secret that that i'm sharing here on the podcast Level guarded public. so you so see yeah, if, if, if you ever build a dike or something like that make sure to 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 take the underwater, underwater into yeah anyway um Zekle, did you get some cartoon news to share oh yes yes well 
I think wow. I do not need to introduce our like two listeners to the fact that Cartoon Network is airing a reboot of the Powerpuff Girls, which was a ham quotation, very well received. So well received. This one that they have them from the side and they all look like fish. Yes. I do not get you. Well, I mean, the original had instructions that you should not show them from the side because they look. Oh, yeah. And yeah. that's exactly what the new one does, and they look like fish. So the new one basically took all the things that that ensured that the original did not turn into shit and and it and did the basically all that so Mac, craig mccracken's like don't do this and and the new show creators like hmm do, do, do you guys remember something about craig mccracken and evan saying something about that They're like nah it wasn't it probably wasn't important anyways just just do it okay let's draw the girls girls from the side it'll, it'll be grand and th and that's how dank meme was born anyway so new ppg what what, what about it what what sort of oh. terrible thing did they do so in their infinite wisdom and progressiveness they decided add a new Powerpuff Girl. <gasps> a new Powerpuff Girl. Powerpuff Girl. I was hoping for Yellow Star. Only there it does not end there. Because you know, aside from the fact that the new Powerpuff Girl is black, she wears purple clothing. Mm -hmm. Whoever watched the original Powerpuff Girl and you know, yeah, bunny. Yeah. Anita, Anita, Anita. Yeah, that bunny. Uh, and we all know what the deal with bunny was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's put it, but I will say it in, in a very crude way, but don't take it as me being disrespectful to the character. So the original purple Powerpuff Girl was retarded. Yes, she was. Purple Powerpuff Girl is black. Mm -hmm. Do you see a problem there? Yeah, she's not transgender. See the implication? I don't see any no. <laughs> she's, she's a unique little snowflake, <laughs> just like Bunny. I'm trying to imply that black people can't be a card. More like that black and retarded are the same thing. Which is something that people on 4chan have, have already jumped on. Jumped at? Just say it. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, to be perfectly fair, I, d I didn't really draw that conclusion, but... Because you can't draw. <laughs> well, I can draw, but I can't draw conclusions. Because they're an abstract concept. Not abstract, but abstract. Well, yeah, I'm not a postmodern artist, so yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll let the post. Randomly throw colors on paper. I know, right? I I, I s if if by sucking at art you mean in the postmodern artist sense, then I, I wear that badge with honor. I've I've explained when was the last time you, you took a can of of expired pasta and filled it with your menstruation blood. Um, oh, that would be kind of no. hard given that I don't have menstruation blood. Exactly. Thank oh, you. Thank you for reminding me of it. You're welcome. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> As Astra, you should do it. Do it now. Do what? Art. Art. Oh, art. We just discovered that. You're you're the only one in our group that's actually capable of art. <laughs> None of us can actually. Um, okay. <laughs> all, all this all this time I've been trying, but I just discovered that no, I can't. I'm physically incapable of doing it.
unless unless you had all your lady parts surgically removed for some <laughs> arbitrary reason did you astra did you yes that's why i went into germany for you you were oh. there weren't you oh but i didn't notice you were so stealthy you, you you secretly took my car and drove to the nearest clinic didn't yeah, that's you that's why i asked for the keys for it wasn't because i was um i lost my purse no i just took your car and i drove it to the um plastic surgery in germany that that was nearby huh huh and yeah but wait a minute <laughs> does does the plastic surgeon does that does this plastic surgeon do that i mean i don't know they, <laughs> isn't the whole point of a plastic surgeon is that they only do like superficial shit like making you look different Master just <laughs> entered the clinic and was like i need a cutting person yeah i need someone to remove my fucking uterus not just make me look different oh you'd have to go to the flesh surgeon instead i only oh, well, surgeon plastic I reminded of a guy who who was he colorblind? I think he was colorblind to begin with, but he just went to a doctor and a surgeon and he had a antenna implanted into his head that converts colors into sounds. Mm -hmm. that, that sounds That's peachy. Sounds freaky. Yes, and he's like, I, I, I had a great problem doing that because the doctors regarded it as unethical. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, don't, don't worry. This, this procedure will just, you know, completely fuck up your senses. It will only make, make it so that you're, you're you no, will no, see sound. Fuck up his, hear sounds. Wait, hear colors. Uh, hear these sounds. Anyway, and anything else about this pop of girls debacle? Wait well, except for the fact that it is quite obvious pandering. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and the new character looks like a fucking fan character. Like yeah, even, I mean, even... the, the picture of the character around for a pretty long time at this point. Like, it was it was out shortly after the series premiered, which is kind of impressive seeing how this is from a second season episode that hasn't aired yet but mm -hmm. when i when i first saw it and when i saw it for a long time was you know you do know those various avatar making machines right yes it was someone's oc made in one of these editors and that for promotional reasons like yeah you know you can have your character with the official characters that the creators did this for promotional reasons, like put it together. But no, apparently it's actually in an episode. Yes. So. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Yes, yes. The prophecy has come true, yes. <laughs> but it is true, the character does look like a goddamn fan character. It it looks like it was ripped straight from DeviantArt. <laughs> Not um, even DeviantArt. I said one of those doll making things. I saw the Wait, things that are already? on DeviantArt regarding Papa. I, I mean, I would even go as far as say that that yellow yellow star, which is the really weird. Really best pony. Well, she's the best pony, obviously, but she's also I like agree. one of those fan made. I want to see. You mean the new character or Yellow Star? Yeah, I can't. I can't oh, no, the new character. Well, I'll some, try to find it. Someone get on it. I'm drawing. I and I and, <laughs> and I I'm a cis head white male, so I can multitask. <laughs> it's a cis head like pussy head. It's it's like my maleness. You know, life is super easy for me, but I can't multitask. Did you know that the, the South Park people are now social justice too? Oh, why? Oh, they, they have like this new game, right? The fat shit butthole. 
Yes, indeed. <laughs> Apparently, when, when you do the difficulty setting, the harder oh, the difficulty you yes, select, the yes. blacker you get. The sc <laughs> yeah, the difficulty scroller. Yeah, I found that funny. <clears throat> so, obviously, that's not the setter at all. Okay, post it in, in the Radio Rockingham chat. Well, let's check it out. Well, there we go. And when, when I say that's not a satire at all, I mean it's not a satire at all. Yeah, this this drawing of this particular girl takes me straight back to the fucking 90s when, when you know, the original serials go and everyone was submitting their own goddamn Pop of Girls OCs and this, this looks exactly like one of them. Why oh, is it much nice bigger than everybody else? I don't get it. Uh, and what? by the way, Another nice thing co connected to this. Apparently, one new site said that Craig McCracken originally wanted to have one of the girls be black, but that CN wouldn't let him. So some people asked him. He never, he never intended it. I, I, I don't get it. Uh, she's got hips. I what? Because she has hips. Because she's she black. Well, obviously, she, she needs to be a unique she's, little she's, snowflake. So, uh, yeah. She's bigger. Uh, oh, she's taller. And she's got hips. I, I don't understand this. Yes, she's tall. She's she has black. bigger head. And she has hips. Because I, she's I, black. And black is the master race, Asta. You should know I, this. Uh, 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 are you feeling in, uh, do, are you feeling uh, inadequate, <laughs> Astra? <laughs> Are you feeling your white inferiority? How you should be killed in a concentration camp? Because only black lives matter. Yeah, right. Oh. Exterminate the old pop of girls. It's all about the program. <laughs> but it's true. The um, I, I've oh, seen. Girl! I've I've seen the uh, the original short that McCracken made. Uh, back uh, then, it was called Whoopers Whoopers Girls and. Passion. Yeah. They they were they were all pretty much white. Well, the, the word ass is haram. That too. Also, he didn't care because he was in fucking college in the nineties, so he didn't. You know, there was back. I wasn't. Is he actually from Calards or? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Calard. But but before they were, you know. Well, to be fair. No, you do realize that people began shipping on colors during the 90s yes because, because shows like because shows all the all the people who came from colors made shows like dexter's lab power Puff girls and all the other shows with thick outline styles mm -hmm. and everyone thick. Can how they all look the same i was so, yeah it's I I was I was going to point it out. Yes, that uh, yes. Back, back in the nineties, there was a very clear uh, tendency to move to that sort of art style, and we're seeing the same thing with uh, the whole newly arms, very thin lines, and it is almost as if there were trends. But, but, but they at are. Least, at least there was like some minor distinguishing between the shows, unlike these days when everything looks the same. It's like, like there are still minor distinguishing. It's like the fucking webcomics that, that all look like Penny Arcade. I'm like, what is this? There's like 70,000 of them with no chance of distinguishing them. Oh, dude, yeah, if you can, dude, if you can't tell Adventure Time apart from Star, Star Versus, then you have a problem. Well, obviously not because Adventure Time kept newly armed. Duh. <laughs> That's true. Adventure Time had more newly arms than Star vs. ever had. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, don't get me wrong. Star vs. Force of Evil has its fair share of noodle arms, but not to the extent of the Adventure Time. Also, I think that that show had characters with actual noodle arms, like yeah. characters that are supposed to have noodle arms. <laughs> Also, I'm pretty sure that in the pilot, even Finn had a new arm with a, with a loop. So why the fuck not? Mm -hmm. But then every show started to do it. But then they accepted the pilot as a regular show, so he had to tone down on the new arm. Wait, he, d he did? Oh, yes. What? 
someone had to tell him to to go easy on the noodle arms exactly and, and ever since then only characters who are supposed to have noodle arms have noodle arms ah well, i mean i can't move on move from there if you mean squiggly arms obviously everybody has those mm -hmm. you are i don't have noodle arms don't be silly you have noodle arms you are noodle arms no license slender Lies and slender. Slender and lies. Lies and slender man. <laughs> yes. He's a licensed slender man indeed. Because of his tall privilege. Hmm? Well, this drive tall privilege. That's it's one privilege I'm completely guilty of. And I don't mind. Also, I use my tall privilege for good. You know, when, whenever I'm in the supermarket. And some some ladies like, hey, I can't reach the top shelf. Help me! Like, no, get your own stairs. I won't help you. Go go. Get your own, get your own length. Don't leech it off me. And then I walk away. And she's sad because I um, couldn't spare the point three seconds to help her. If, if she didn't want to be sad, she shouldn't have been so short. Yeah, exactly. She just shouldn't have been so short. If she just wheeled it hard enough, she could have been tall, like me. But instead, she didn't. What a tragic story. Hmm. So, and any other? I I'm pretty sure you want to bring up more things, Sekler. Well, there was one more thing. All right. Uh, how many of you know about the novel The Lord of the Flies? Uh, actually, I don't. What about it? It's, it's one of those shitty books about gay kids. Because I, I hate them. I, I despise, ever since I was a kid, I despise any book that has kids as lead characters, especially in survival situations. Hmm. I, I absolutely hate the 16-year-old captain from Glenn. That's that's an interesting look into your psyche. So so why? Those kids make everyday cars. What? It, you know those those lick and things. They make everything work. There's this tiny little humans. There's mini humans. Ugh. Like oh my god, let's make some very irrational decisions, and this will somehow make for a good story. Basically. <laughs> what 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 do you mean that cutting all contact I, with the outside world is a bad idea? Let's do it anyway. It, isn't it like the premise of Lord of the Flies? Yeah, basically. Very, very basically, decision. basically, the point is that uh, upper class British boys <laughs> trapped on an island, and they basically descend into savagery. The point being that that civilization is just an illusion and that all of us are fucking savages. Well, the book was made into a movie several times. See, that, that's why Grand Mysterious Island is better. It's about people who go and, and crash on an island and then using science built their own colony on the island. That was kind of an interesting story, but go ahead. You were making a point. Well, they are making another movie adaptation of The Lord of the Flies. Only this, in this adaptation, instead of a bunch of upper-class British boys crashing on the island, it's a bunch of girls crashing on the island. Apparently, the plot is supposed to stay the same. Uh, and apparently, what's, what's the problem? Like, finally, well, it's going to be realistic. Well, that that's problematic ah. you see you can't show a society consisting entirely out of women that fail physically <laughs> descend into bloody savagery because apparently that would destroy the feminist narrative 
right there on the silver screen. But that's true. <laughs> that feeling when you get faced with reality. And it's it's not just true of the women, it's true of everything. That's the whole point of the movie, to show so that they, humans... They freaking say that no, only men are savages. Women can't be savages. Savages, savages. Better, even the world would be better if there were no men, only women. You yes. can't show this. That's misogynistic. The, fu the funny thing about that is... Uh, there was this uh, TV show in Belgium, I believe. Oh, that, I heard about it. Yes, yes they were, that, that, TV? Yes, they have t television sets. They have these, uh, these tell. Tel they have these, they have these televised, um, televised programs that you can watch up on the televisor, which well, is a I device that. I, I think. I think. I, I thought. Televisors, just like everything else in Belgium, is made of chocolate. Yes, that that's true. It's all made of chocolate. Mm. That's uh, probably that's that's probably why it took them a little while to to get television or televisionators, oh. because they had to adapt the technology to be compatible with chocolate. You see, ah, that's okay. so that's why Belgium is so backwards. I learned a little still something about it. Anyway, so so in this television program. They had a bunch of dudes and a bunch of chicks and sent them to a deserted island, which is full of desserts. So, so they went there and they were like, okay, you, you guys and girls, you go sit over here. You girls go sit over here. You basically have like some very basic supplies. Now build a civilization. Do it. I'll do it now. It. And we'll, we'll check you guys in a week or so. Some sort of Belgium chocolate survivor. So, so the ch so the, the dudes arrived on on their part of the island, and they immediately start to build society. They were like, "Okay, we need to build shit. We're gonna build shelter and beds. And we're gonna build a fire. And we're gonna build all this fucking shit. It's gonna be awesome." And within a few days, they basically had a full camp up and running. They had they had rations. That they were doing pretty well for themselves. And checked on the uh, up. Dead they checked. Russians? And and they they checked up on the girls, and they were basically just bickering with one another and living in very makeshift things and and, and waging wars for her guys. And essentially, oh yeah, and then there was this this thing where they picked one of the guys and one of the girls and they swapped places, and the guy arrived at at the girls' camp and he was like. You old man, it's like what? Well, what the fuck have you? What the fuck have you been doing all this time? How can you live like this? How the, like like this isn't even a bed. Where is your campfire? Where are your supplies? <laughs> and it's like uh, we ate them all. It's like what's a campfire? What's this fire what? you speak of? And it turned out that during the week the women lost the spirit of fire. Hmm. And and from there on, the guy basically built their entire fucking camp. So, so so they brought him in, and he basically made sure that they didn't die. And and the woman, you know, they they brought her in to the guy's camp, and she was like, "I don't have to do shit. Everything's already been taken care of. This is cool. This is so chill." <laughs> but what the fuck were we doing in this other camp where everything was basically dead? So what's this? It's a spoon. Oh. What do you use it for? Oh, but, but here's the kicker. Actually, I'm just making this shit up. But then one of the guys like, oh, could you be there and 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 put the 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 clothes over there? And then it's like misogyny. How dare you make me do all this work? Typical. Uh, they put her back into the woman camp. Yes. Yep. Oh, back to the woman. Go, woman camp. You go. Oh, I I, th I, I I I think I prefer, you know, putting the clothes off. As a punishment, you go back to your own. That is hilarious. Well, the the societal equivalent would be something like, uh, oh, oh, you're 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 making me 
you know, you're asking me, you're not even making me, you're asking me to do the dishes. Well, um, off you go, go, go clean the sewer. But no, do it, you know, fix, fix the sewer. Become a sewage worker for a day. I was like, oh, yeah, this is kind of shit. Literally. <laughs> ah. ah, you can't have a point there. Yes. Now, yes. you don't even have to do it, but I was just going to ask you to do the dishes while I do this other thing over here. While I go fix, I don't know, the gutter that that fucker's been leaking quite a bit. That's a, that, that's a small favor to ask. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a big misogynist. I probably am. After all, I named my car Patriarchy. <laughs> Best car ever. But it's all because of Severius. He suggested that name. So maybe I Severius see. is the real misogynist. Yeah, it's the real Patriarchy. I'm just trying to propagate myself. Wait a minute. Did, did you name your car Patriarchy, Severius? I have a car? Wait, you, you got rid of your car? What car? Then then yes, you got rid of it. Or it's still there in your your front yard just rusting away. Okay, okay, okay. What is it? It's a European car. That can pass. It's not made of metal. <laughs> if you are interested, I have a meat cleaver called Vengeance. And I'm a chest. <laughs> Just look for fuck. What? You, you, you dropped out. Yeah, you, you were kind of roboting, I'm sorry. Yeah. just I'm just saying that I have a meat cleaver that I named Vengeance. Yes. That I named Justice. But, but okay. why why would you name your meat... Why, why, do you, why do you own a meat cleaver? I actually found it. <gasps> Okay. I was like clearing out a house like as a part-time job. Uh -huh. like the house because before it get, you know, torn down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of work. And I found a rusty meat cleaver. Did you unrust it at least? Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, Adric's question time. You don't have a meat cleaver? Um well I do have a meat knife, but not specifically cleaver. Like cleavers are very good when chopping frozen meat. Yeah, how I do you reckon. not have a meat cleaver, Arctic? Be because I don't need one. You don't need elf meat, Arctic. I have two. Hmm. Also, I, I, eat, I eat my meat right out of the, the freezer. You know, just open the freezer and I just shove the, that the shit the down. Out of pl plastic packaging. Uh, especially if it's got plastic packaging. You just shove that shit straight into your mouth. You no. Eat it just like women would eat it if they had their own civilization. Exactly. Well, ex 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 except except I would actually be able to chomp down the meat instead of you know being all like ew, that isn't good for my my teeth. No, I just bite straight through it. No. If it's not good for your skin. Why would you eat it? Mm, exactly. I just do it. Hmm. So, so yeah. Apparently, that's a thing in 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 Slovakia. Also, uh, that that reminds me of another topic, uh, which is related to secular. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Because you know, one 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 of the inspirations of this podcast is this, this little gem called Reckless Me Radio. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. they died. It. It's it's a shame. They they were they were kind of funny. Not I most of the time. Uh, a lot of value was lost. We, we now need to cancel this and rename it to Reckless Media Radio 2. Or, or if if you guys are listening somehow, which I seriously doubt, just be guests on the podcast. Okay, thanks, bye. But all but, you need to do is to send them an invitation, Arctic. But here's the thing. One of them was a lawyer. Oh, yeah. Especially... During the episode, during the run of the podcast, one of them became a lawyer. He was like, "I am now officially a lawyer." Yeah, 
and I think we've just become a little bit more like Reckless Media Radio now. Not to mention the Reckless Media Radio. Well, um, Reckless uh, Radio, in fact, died shortly after one of their members became a lawyer. Yes. Hmm. Maybe those two are related. I am the law. I am law. <laughs> Mm -hmm. but but yeah yeah I, i'm obviously a lawyer uh, i'm the but but i'm not a licensed lawyer but but i'm a lawyer does it really mean we are ending but unlicensed no it it just means that i'm a lawyer and 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 if you ever do something i don't like i'll just sue you i'll but sue ya i'll take all your money. your money i'll sue ya even if you look at me funny hmm Especially if you look at my at, at me funny, then I'll sue you even harder. It's like like driving down on the autobahn. If if you drive 160 kilometers an hour, I obviously have to go 170 at least, and then get reared by guy guy going to to 40 or something like that, which fortunately never happened during the last trip. <laughs> So there were some guys going ridiculously fast. Like you're 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 driving down the autobahn. And you're like, hmm, I'm going to steady 150 kilometers an hour, nice and fast. And then, whoosh! And before you know it, you see like this this this, this sports car far away in the distance, who obviously passed you by at least additional 100 kilometers. Like, oh, I'm going pretty fast right about now. Whoosh! Nope, What's this guy's going going at least 240. That guy was obviously going sonic. What I'm saying is that there's a lot of sonics on the German autobahn. Lots of sonics. Everybody's super sonic racing. <laughs> super sonic racing. Yeah. Well, that there are. There, there, there are a lot of racers on the autobahn. I couldn't help but integrate you now. You speed go racer. there. Go speed racer. Go speed racers. Go speed. Go speed racer. Go. Da, 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 da. Or some cheesy shit like that. That was a funny cartoon. That was a funny cartoon. Also, apparently, they they legitimately. The reason they talked so funny on that show was because back then they were trying to um, lip sync the, to the Japanese original. Yes. So it all they all spend end up talking exactly like this, really, 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 really fast. Like I'm drawing this day. So right now I'm the, the, the picking the color. It's so fast. It's uh, really you don't you can believe it. So uh, how fast it is? Oh my god! Except it sounded way more ridiculous in that series. And then people realize, no, you don't have to translate one to one. You, th there's room for some, you know, there's there's some leniency. It doesn't. So they translated it even more. Or do you take or gay mean plan in Japanese? Yes, that's the other extreme. And then there's something like like uh, four kids, uh, yeah. one piece. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh oh. Oh my god, don't don't do this or I'll shoot the guy with my really weird looking water gun. Oh my god, the stakes are so high right now. Also this guy is suck all is sucking on lollipops, don't worry about it. He's not actually smoking. It's just lollipops. It's just lollipops. You somehow managed to make the world lollipop sound slightly dirty. I can oh, make it sound even more dirty. Uh, oh, this, this no. lollipop. lollipop. Lollipop is the instrument you use to pop lollies. Oh. Especially if they're cherry flavored. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm, I'll pop that flare cherry flavored lollipop. Pop. Pop it's cherry flavored flavor. lollipop. Dude. Anyway, um, are we bringing up one more topic or are we just gonna end today's episode? Yeah. Does someone have another topic? I might have another topic. <gasps> oh my god, Beck has a topic after yeah. b 
being silent all this time, except for the one time. So what is it, Beck? What's your amazing topic? I think like uh, half a year ago, there was a case about two YouTubers being exposed about owning a large uh, CSGO gambling site. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I like know. CSGO Lotto. Basically, they got uh, they got like judged by the FTC, and they had a verdict like what the punishment will be. Guess what the punishment was for screwing over all those uh, miners and all those people with the scamming site. Let me guess. They basically ruled that they were running a casino and letting miners participate. Nope. Oh. They basically got a jail out of free card. Basically no punishment at all. Okay, that's odd. I uh, mean... In this case, I'm fully anticipating seeing news that they get slapped with a special skin knife. Well, yeah. It's, uh, it's obviously, you know, very important that you're playing your shoot on game and instead of being stabbed by a regular knife, it's exactly the same knife, but it's got a slightly different color. Well, I meant in real life. Well, yeah, but basically the verdict of the FTC was, well, this is a, a new and unexplored market, so... We don't know so, what and to do Yeah, I'm here to educate people about this, and apparently and they... There's no precedent for this! The justice system is useless in this case! Ah! <laughs> yeah, basically it's, uh, how do you call this, white-collar crime, something, and they basically just didn't get punished at all. They are millionaires from the money, from the scheme and are basically so what at the FCC is basically telling people that they can everyone can fund a new scam if they're the first ones they won't get any punishment because they're first one and it's new to the market. Ah, this makes me angry that I'm not able to come up with a good scam. That and the fact that I don't live in America. You, you need to make up but a... you, you can use your lawyer powers to 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 make it illegal or something. Or to make it, I don't know. How how does lawyering work? Just, just, just do the thing, then change the law in in Slovakia, and and you'll be rich. For I kind well, of think over here, for over here stuff works a bit, a little bit different. You see, if you want to run a successful scam, mm -hmm. you need to be part of the mob. <laughs> so what you're saying is become or, or politician. Yeah, but from uh, uh, what I kind of see there, but that's just me speculating, I don't have any info on this. I think kind of like companies like especially Valve, because they kind of let this happen like without them. They knew about it, but they didn't comment about it. Everything like when they were doing this scam and basically I think they kind of got support from Valve's lawyers too, you know, because they know exactly that once the FTC has a ruling about it, they might get some closer look about, you know, gambling regulations in games. Mm -hmm. So it's it it mostly in the game industry's interest to, you know, to kind of let this slide so so people forget about it. Because if there's no uh, law, no precedent, as you say, then they can keep doing this, the loot box stuff, even more. Because the that's about it because gambling in games would be, have been a thing and Valve doesn't want to Counter-Strike or to count as gambling. So what was the scam anyways because I haven't really kept up with this particular situation. Uh, basically they, their own, or oh, Sekula can explain it maybe. They basically, you had to pay real money first. And of course, the drops from the loot boxes were completely random. Oh, he's talking about the scam itself. Like, he's aware, of course. Like, yeah. it's Counter Strike Go has uh, completely random uh, drops, but you also can, like, trade uh, those. And you can also use third party APIs to trade, mm -hmm. quote unquote, using boss and everything. And they offered a website where you, where you could kind of do, like, a battle against some someone else on the website which is more like gambling like a roulette and the winner gets all as right. a third party website and from what i recall they got a small small kickback from every let's say fight and they made a lot of money this way 
so don't, don't forget to don't forget the videos of all the people oh yeah oh, oh all of these people like oh check out this uh, website that they discovered cs uh, Lotto, yeah. and they didn't disclose that they owned the site ah and yeah they, that's they pretty big one didn't randomly win while showing it <laughs> yeah, because you know if if you are exactly he was doing like all this random gambling like of course he lost a few uh, fights to you know who look kind of realistic but you know if you are kind of the site owner and Just you do yeah it's, it's not like you can like alter the papers for yourself because you most yeah. likely have access to the server backend no that's but no one would do that no one would like fake uh, odds in their favor if they have the access to that why would you do that mm -hmm. There was also like a uh, huge drama about it that other YouTubers were involved too, and they were basically told the odds like of the next fight, so they could already predict what they when they would lose and when they would win, so they could kind of set set you know a kind of story up. Yeah. It would uh, make a video, and then suddenly they lose, they lose, and then uh, lose uh, like almost have nothing, and they go in, and they suddenly win a lot. Yes, because they already knew that how. Uh, how the games would go. Yeah, they obviously are tantalizing people because when people are gambling, they're like, well, the guy in the video almost lost everything, but then he won. I'm going to, to try that too. Exactly. This, this does sound like completely legitimate gambling webs our way. Uh, uh, that's exactly. But yeah. Legitimate gambling. Quick one. Yeah, but it was like gambling outside of the Gam Counter Strike. Uh, it's uh, it was like a third party gambling, website. Yes. Gambling. Okay. That's a completely new level of gambling. Well, I, 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 I get the rationale behind the verdict. Like you said, that there hasn't been a, uh, you know, a similar situation before. So it makes sense for law to not really know how to deal with this, which means that there needs to be. A, no, no, it's FTC. There's, there's a, uh, Apex, see, there's, there should be at least a difference between we don't know how to deal with this and we, and we are not going to deal with this in any way. And the, well, the F, FT, FTC, right? The federal, the, they're not really a... Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, not, the... it's not really like the... It's, it's, not, it's not a... Um, uh, how to say this? They, they at, at best they can find people as far as I know. They can't really um, put people to jail or anything. It's not yeah, like they even, were sent to court. But they didn't even get, get didn't get fined at all. But that's the thing. Like, let me call Team Martin and Syndicate do not need to admit any culpability and will face no penalty for their past actions. Looking mm -hmm. to the future, however, the FTC will require proper disclosure from the pair and will enforce violations in the future. <laughs> well, like all the past ones, basically, they made them at cash. They won't so, get so the basically all they did the was take the call. The next time you're gonna con people, tell us before it. Hmm. Also, they might actually run into trouble with entities like the uh, IRS or whatever, since. Um, the the methods they used are shady as fuck, and plenty of other government agencies that might find their practices more questionable than the F FTC might do. But yeah, yeah but I still have the yeah. suspicion that that you know they are gonna get kind of support from like some huge publishers, or at least Valve, because it is in the publishers' interest that there That's will be no. Uh, regulations regarding gambling in games because mm. it's in their big interest because like right now every game especially since overwatch has done it every game is adding loot boxes to them even even g2a has already loot boxes like you can get loot boxes for games mm. you get a loot box then you can buy some currency to open this loot box and you get one of the random games that is said to be in the loot box why would you use g2a well some people do Ugh. You also have, like, of course, Destiny, which has loot boxes. I think they are called differently. You also can get, but there are even items that actually affect gameplay. And you can get them only through loot boxes. Shadow of War, I, have, I think it's a complete uh, race of orcs locked, locked behind loot boxes. 
So basically all you of know, the... You know, man, actually, good idea. I could open a loot book, loot book and there's an orc in there. Mm, yeah, it is, complete, it is completely shitty when, it's you like know... I, I got this super small plus 15 damage against undead and the guys like, I got an orc. I mean, when, when it's just cosmetics, you can oh, at least... Oh, talking, talking about Shadow of War. They have a, a charity. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I forgot what exactly the charity is for. Some some guy who died, I think. Uh, I, don't know. Uh, I think one of the... Uh, I think the lead, lead developer for the Shadow of Mordor. Yes. Well, he died of cancer. Yes. So they were like, uh, let's have a DLC with this guy. Yes. Usually, you know, they would like offer it for free or something, you know, to kind of honor him, but it's like, it's, it, let's uh, make it a $5 DLC. Like, of course, 30% of the D DLC go to uh, both. Yes, because, you know, both. And rest. It's, it's, it's like, yes, you can now, now give money to charities against cancer stuff shit. Yeah. Except. That only works if you are in America. If you and are only America, certain only certain states, like I think only 40 of them and like 12 of them are exempt. That's even better. Well, yeah. anywhere else in the world. <laughs> those places. Yeah, because there's like the, there's like the small footprint that says like uh, those states are exempt. And basically, as I said, only a, a the 40 states in America are affected by the charity, everyone else, like, it all still goes into Warner Brothers' uh, wallet. GG. So yeah, kinda all the games, re all the games from the big publishers are kinda devolving even more and more into shit shows. Well, at least they have more reasons that. to pirate it. The first reason is that it's probably a Ubisoft game, but in in Middle Earth, so why would you buy it in the first place? I don't know. I wish you. Exactly. Why would you buy anything that's Ubisoft format? The le the last Ubisoft game I did buy was the Raymans, and I, I yeah. never had an urge to buy anything the Ubisoft ever time. since. Yeah. The I, 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 the only Ubisoft game I ever bought was Rayman Three. Wait, the one with the, the weird as grappling hooks and whatnot? Actually, I should probably try and get my hands on that game. It was back when, when Ubisoft did good things. Uh, I still argue that, um, that that Rayman 2 was probably one of the best Raymans ever made. That's the one I never played. Oh. Mario vs. Rabbits looks interesting. Duh, okay. It's Rabbits. I, c I can't take anything seriously that 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 involves rabbits. No, well, you are not, not even uh, Alex, not even the the rabbit peach R34. Yes, there's there's rabbit peach rule 34. Thank you for reminding me. That that it's exists. amazing. It's amazing. It's also there. it's it's obviously Ubisoft's attempt at, at trying to, uh, to kind of cash in on on the minions phenomenon that the, 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 the rabbits came, came before, before the minions i know but, I but then but but then rabbits. you see you see then they kind of disappeared for for some times it was like Thank okay yeah ubisoft was like okay this rabbits thing is never really going to catch on they went back before. to the planet the and 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 then you know Minions happened, and Ubisoft was like, "Oh my God, this shit's popular again!" And we got these okay. weird little creatures. We we can do something with this, and then there's rabbits all over again. You know, I, I think the worst cultural impact of millions is all those parents posting motivational memes. That is the weirdest them. shit ever. I don't get it. To send you like uh, the, the mem dank meme, which is like yeah blah 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 some deep shit about death <laughs> yeah. or love and then there's the fucking picture of a minion that's completely unrelated yeah if 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 you love each other then you will live happily and then there's a picture of a minion 
taking a shit or something like that. I mean, what the fuck, man? Quality content. Yes. Made of quality. Well, then again, we're talk we're, we are talking about fucking Facebook and WhatsApp memes, so... I mean, yeah. Those, those memes are like the equivalent of whatever that they're using in Venezuela right now. Uh, well, are they using Venezuela right now? I, I doubt it's actual money. It's are they using... Like one, one, one Pepe is like 7,000 of Facebook memes. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure in Venezuela, if you go there, you like... I, I got this... this I, I, I've got this print out of a map of a, of a dank uh, Pepe. And like... Okay, well, you can have a kilo flour because but that, that it's there's still more worth than, than the official currency. Exactly, because there's money you got over there; they're worthless. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll give you I'll give you some uh, paper clips for the the paper. You <laughs> just switch to World of Warcraft Gold already. Like like we've we've said earlier, at at one point in uh, it was at Weimar Germany, they were like, uh, so you got this wheelbarrow full of money. Ah, just chuck the, the the money in the ditch. I'll take the wheelbarrow. It's more yeah. valuable. And and what was it? Uh, was it Congo or Zimbabwe? It's, uh, Zimbabwe, where it was like, oh, so the price of uh, I, I I go to store and it's like, hey, can I can I have a Kinder Bueno? And like, okay, that'll be uh, two billion Zimbabwean dollars. And they're like, oh yeah, do you have a change for f fifty billion? Yeah, sure. And then you come, come back the next, you know, or later that day, you're like, hmm, I could go for another one. So you go in there and like, kind of one, kind of one, and they're like, okay, it'll be 50 billion Zimbabwean dollars. Like, you've all me. They were already, they were, they were already 20 billion this morning. They're like, oh yeah, but you know, inflation. <laughs> so you're saying that there's well over 200% inflation in less than, a, for, than less than a few hours? Yes. And I think it was legitimately that, that was legitimately the case in Zimbabwe, where the inflation rate was so high that prices doubled, like every eight hours. <laughs> and see, this is why Venezuela should switch to World of Warcraft Gold. I mean, it's worth more at this point, and at least it's not regulated by the government. Wait, uh, can we use the same logic to to have them use Dogecoin? Possibly. Um, Dogecoin is probably more valuable than whatever they're using in Venezuela I, I, I right about now. Just because you mined like 0 0.05 Dogecoins once. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you want to get on Venezuela's real estate market. Well, yeah. So at, at this point, I can probably buy biggest mansion over there right about now. The, the only problem is getting there. And uh, nah, I don't, I don't feel like traveling right about now. I just... Just, just did a lot of travel and all, also I'm not sure if we want to live in Venezuela right about now I don't know just just doesn't seem to be in a, in a Venezuela mansion and owning half of the country and well that is true if, if I how did you do this and like five those coins yes if if I move there now you know I'll, I'll, I'll be a millionaire it's like Oh my God! After all this capital flight, you're the oh, you're the first rich guy we've seen in months. A rich guy, just some some lower middle class dude from now. That's it's cool, it's cool. You got money. Come here, please. And then eat your wallet. And then they will kill you at the, and take your money and mm. your teeth because teeth are also more valuable than money at this point. But but what, but hold on. What if I bring my Wii U? I mean, over here it's worthless. Over there, it's like hours of entertainment. It's like, oh my god, it's it's one of these video computer game systems. We ha I haven't seen one of these since the nineties. And oh, look at these way, graphics. Apparently, uh, talking about those coins, what uh, what was it? Two thousand ten. Yes. Uh, Bitcoin in the value of hundred dollars in two thousand ten mm -hmm. are apparently worth seventy five million now. Hold on, what what was that? Bitcoin. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, the, the value of Bitcoin mm -hmm. has gone up significantly. Like yes. it it used to be like okay, I'm gonna you guys I'm gonna do something XAD funny 
what's that well i'm going to order pizza with my bitcoins <laughs> they're using cryptocurrency to buy or something okay let's see let's see uh, so uh i'll buy one pizza it's only cost me uh twenty thousand bitcoins uh, isn't it funny and now it's like that guy's probably hitting himself in the face because like god fucking damn it not to mention all those people that lost their hard drives and shit hmm? oh yeah and then search the landfill to try and find their lost <laughs> hard drive it's hilarious but uh what what about bitcoin what about bitcoin no i, I oh. said what i wanted to say oh just that it's gone up a lot yes from oh. 100 dollars to 75 million in a but wait a minute one, one bitcoin isn't 75 million no, 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 no. the, the, the oh. amount of bitcoins that would give you 100 dollars in 2010 ah now would be 75 million cool yes. well that's a lot of bitcoin monies unfortunately it's probably a bit hard to cash it that i reckon that's the hard part about bitcoin like okay so you got you got like a bunch of bitcoins how the fuck are you going to cash that shit in you have to go to one of these shady trading sites and just hope that everything goes according to plan and you hope that the site's not gonna get hacked and then then you realize oh all my bitcoins are gone how this could this happen to me uh, obviously you, you can spend like 15 hours each day clicking on, on on bitcoin sites and hope for those 500 satoshis or you you can be like that uh, actually i don't know i don't know if that's that's still thing but i remember like in the late 2000s i was at this party and this guy was just clicking ads all day all fucking day long i was asking what what are you doing it's like oh yeah if i go to these websites and i click the ads and if, if i do it enough then they'll give me a dollar and i was like oh that's uh that's very uh it's like oh don't don't kid yourself i know i'm fucking crazy we're doing this and kept clicking all the ads That's because he had not possible. he had nothing better to do i think he should have clicked on bitcoins so that this went up in price yes <laughs> but i don't even <laughs> think bitcoins existed back then now, but if you continue you could have 20 cents the next year well for fuck's sake if i knew bitcoin was gonna be that you know valuable i would have just mined some bitcoins in the very early days well, you didn't and that's the thing that that's the thing of just about anyone on the planet Indeed, Everyone's... I, well i got to bitcoin when it was still relatively cheap hmm? in 2015. wait you actually i i didn't have a video card to mine it with ah <laughs> i oh. didn't actually fucking have a video card at that time hold on did you said did you ever actually have bitcoin or did, did you have the, the the knowledge of how to mine a bitcoin the knowledge i just told ah. you i didn't have a, a video card oh. mining is pretty it was fucked over uh, because for a moment i thought you said you actually had two bitcoins in your account no. but no. no i have like 500 satoshis which right. is which is what five millionth of a bitcoin <laughs> Well, that that might be enough to buy one Kinder Bueno, maybe, <laughs> just maybe. Anyway, on on that retarded note, we'll end this here episode of Ray Rothingham. So uh, yeah, we're we're back in full swing. We're so much back in full swing that there won't be an episode next Friday, but maybe on in the weekend instead. I don't know. I'll have to figure this I shit out. Next Friday, I have vacation this entire week. We could have make like five. Oh wow! Well, if if you've got vacation, I'm sure we can work something out. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you hated it, and in worst case scenario, you actually liked it. And if you do, then congr congratulations! Uh, your life is a bit easier. Like now. Get right now. So yeah, uh, subscribe, like, favorite, give me six thousand euros. Bye. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. <laughs>